Hi, in this video we're given an object and the red one here being the image is the green one being the object and we know that this uh, object has been rotated and we have to find the center of rotation so in order to uh, do do this we have to join up a corresponding point so in GeAlgebra Using, we're, going, we're going to use this menu here and this menu here. So using this menu here, we're going to join point A dash to A. And just if I right click on it, I'm going to make the line style dashed. And then I'm going to join up uh, B with B. Or I can just see, I only have to do two corresponding points. So I'm going to join up B and B there like that. And again, I'll make that dashed in order to Okay, so what I've done now then so far is I joined A up with A a dash with A and then B with B dash. You only have to do two of the three points in this case. Right, then what you need to do is you need to construct the perpendicular bisector of A, A dash. So the line that runs perpendicular to this line here. Now you remember you do that with a compass. You put a compass on A and then you put a compass on B, making the arc side by side. All right, but in GeoGebra it does it for you. So if you click this one and perpendicular bisector and all you need to do is click on the line. Okay, so I've got one line that way. So in order to a uh, bit, bit colour, we'll go to Object Properties and I will change the colour, to say, to red. Okay, and then if I did the other one, the perpendicular bisector to that one there, and again, if I change the colour, right-clicking Objects, Let's have green. Okay, so where these two lines meet, okay, when you constructed them, is the center of rotation. So in this case, it's minus two, five. So if I put um, a point there so we can see it. Okay, again, if I right click on it, I don't want the label. Let's right click on it, object properties, uh, let's make it orange and let's make the thing a bit thicker so we can see it. And if we go to uh, basic and in the caption if we put center of rotation. Okay, so now I've got my center of rotation. Now, if I wanted to find the angle that I've turned through, I probably could just see already, but if I wanted to find the actual angle, then if I go back to line segment, if I join up A to the center of rotation, and then A dash to the center of rotation, let's change the color of those lines a little bit, let's make them blue. Let's do the other one as well. Okay. And then what I need to do is find the angle. I think I could probably see that it's 90 degrees, but to find the angle, press angle and then put it on A, center and A. Okay, so it's done that one. So all you need to do is right click on the angle, go to object properties and then in here just change this to between 0 and 180 okay we don't need the uh, label because we can see that it's 90 degrees and then if i close that okay so i can see now uh, and obviously in an, an exam you just measure that that angle with a protractor okay but we can see that the angle is 90 degrees so what we've got here is so this rotation this uh, transformation is a rotation ninety degrees, it's gone clockwise about 
the point, and the point, considering, is this point here, so that's minus 2, comma, 5, which is this point here. You can see it's that point there. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the center of rotation. Okay, the perpendicular bisectors you need to construct with a compass if you're doing it in an exam. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.